Well, hello everyone, I'm your host Akuma, and welcome back to another episode of Okami. Last time we entered the Ark of Yamato, and that was about it. <laughs> We're at full power, though. Done pretty much everything we can in the game. Might as well, well, create a new save game, because I want to go back and do stuff later on in my own time. Anyway! Alright. So, what have we got up here? Um... I have no idea. Ooh, I'm getting uh, Ganon's Tower feels from Wind Waker right now. So, we've got the Nine Tails. We have, um, what is it? The Bowl? The Crimson Helm, that's right. And we have the Spider Queen. Uh, give me a moment. And then, that would be Blight. What was that one? The other boss was Leku and Neku, right? So, what would that one be? Is that... Oh, it's Orochi! Oh. 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 Am I going to have to fight all of them again? Great. It is like Ganon's Tower. <laughs> Alright, sure. Hi, there. Goodness, if I'm not mistaken, you're from our home, the Celestial Plain. It's you, Okami Amaterasu. Who would have thought we would meet again after all this time? All my waiting under the dark, cold ice has paid off. We Celestials may have lost our physical form, but our spirits live on and are with you for all eternity. Yay. We were heartbroken after the battle on the Celestial Plain when you fell to this world with that monster. We managed to escape before it happened, but little did we know the tragedy that was about to befall us. You know, if I, if uh, Eason was still here, he would say, Man, baby, you look divine. <laughs> Sorry. After we ran away from the battle, we boarded the Ark of Yamato hoping to get away. But not long after we set sail, countless monsters appeared from the depths of the Ark. Having nowhere to run, all of us were devoured by the monsters. Great! This Ark, which was built by the Lunar Civilization, turned out to be a cargo ship designed to transport thousands of monsters. That brings up something interesting. Not, not, not long after setting sail, the Ark lost its rudder and plummeted down to this world. The Celestials on board, each and every one of us, were slain. I don't know why the Moon Tribe built such a thing, but when the Ark fell to this world and brought such tragedy, well, it was nothing short of a disaster. Okami Amaterasu, it seems that the Ark has begun to move again after all this time. But this place is like a nest of dark beings. Please take care not to be sucked into the darkness. Okay, but that brings up something interesting. Uh, what about that girl, Kaguya, I think her name was? She was part of the Moon Tribe, she said, we thought, possibly, maybe. Well, that was a lot of pot. You know what I mean. Anything interesting in all these things? I highly doubt there is. Oh look, a little bit of cash, and why would you have some ink in here? I don't know. Now, whatever, let's jump down and uh, fight a boss again. Great! Yep, as I thought. You know, it'd be much more interesting if we were here to, like, talk to the boss and get their thoughts on all the everything. Oh, come on. Get over here. Oop. There we go. Come on now. Come on now. Get in close. Come here. Uh, maybe if... There we go. Aha! Um, I'm not doing any damage. Great. How was I supposed to hurt you? Oh, yeah, that's... Right... Um... Lightning? Oh, there you are. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. Let's go ahead and drop a bomb over here. Um, where are you at? There you are. Evil Row! Evil Row! And other creatures of the Nine Tails. Man, I'm a lot stronger now. And then the rest of you? There you are. Come down here. Oh, or not. Well, you dropped stuff for me back here, right? Yeah, a lot of cash and a little bit of health. I don't know if I actually needed it, but whatever. What are you even... You know what? I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, stabby stab stab. Go ahead and hold it up in the air. Hold it up in the air. Come on, do you think... There we go. And then, boink. Yes, yes, yes. Very good, very good. And now... Come on now. There we go. You know, I could probably counter some of these 
ladies, but I can cut them up faster than I can counter them, so not much point. Uh, hello? Oh, no. Alright, well, run away again, pick up the little stuff they left behind. I tried to counter and it didn't work. Yes, 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 you're very scary, Two Tails. Come on now, come on now, come on now, do your thing. Oh, jeez. Hi there. Um, does that mean that you're free to... Nope. Now nah, you are. Okay. I don't even know what this attack is going to do to me, but you're open, so why not? Yes, yes, yes. Come down. Come down. Come... Right, fine. Take out your other piece. Oh, no. Help me. No, you're dead. <laughs> Alright, you. Come here. Really? You know, she was holding her sword up in the air for a little bit. I wonder if I could have attacked her with that. Also, I had completely forgotten that after that whole shebang, that Nine Tails ends up looking like a regular fox with only one tail. Should have blocked, and I forgot about it again. Just, just hold your sword up in the air. Thank you. Couldn't even draw anything that time. Oh, you're nothing. Nothing, really. Well, derp, derp. Yeah, I can just go ahead and take you out regularly. I don't have to wait. Why wait? Okay, I could have countered that, and I didn't. Or blocked it. You know, whatever. Another boss bites the dust. Not gonna drop anything for me? Just gonna give it to me after the battle's done? Dubba do. Eh, I could have done better. Well, that was remarkably simple, wasn't it? Yes, I would like to leave. Please let me leave. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! And right back here. Okay, I was hoping they'd drop me in the center, but no. Unless this person has something to say? Yes, yeah, she does. It seems one of the dark beings has disappeared. If only all the evil power would leave our midst. Then I'm sure the Ark would return to the celestial plane. Ah, I was ready for immortality. But now it seems the time has come for my spirit to take leave. It's brought me joy to my heart to... Uh, it's brought joy to my heart to have met you before I depart. I hope that you will return to the celestial plane, Amaterasu, and that you will bring light to this world once more. Da -da 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 -da. What was with that pose? Were you trying to seduce me or something? Hmm. With them on the bottom, that I can see. Maybe that's where the last stray bead is. <laughs> okay, next up we're fighting Crimson Helm. Sure, we'll just go for it. And who's over here? Are you going to look exactly like what's her name, Diz? Diz? <laughs> right, that's a word. Eh, whatever. In we go! Also, there was no Celestial being there, so I guess we're only going to see one until we're all done with this? Not counting the merchant, that is. Okay, so I forgot something, I believe, when I was fighting the first time. The whole, uh... And actually, I have new ways to fight him. I never did think, I believe, to blow out the fire that was surrounding his body, so I'm going to try to remember that this time. All right, let's back off. Yes, 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 you do your thing. Whoop! Alright, fire attacks. Can't hurt me! And... Oops! Not oops. Come on now. There we go. You do your fire. I blow you out. And then I attack you. You no longer have goat. I couldn't think of anything else that rhymed. Except maybe grout, but that doesn't really work in the sense of the word. Anyway! Yeah, I'll just uh, do this whole thing, and I don't even need these Satomi power orbs this time. Come on now, come on now, come on now. And we are almost gone. I think you're going to jump up in the air, though. Maybe, possibly. Alright, there we go. And then this. And then this. And you're finished. Yeah, super easy when you have overpowered weapons and... The attributes. Pretty much. I mean her health and her ink, not her... Never mind. Yeah, it did much better than the first time. I think I may have just now come to realize that all of these pots on the side are supposed to be like a health refill after you fight the bosses. If any of them would actually drop health for me. That is. Alright, come on now. 
Just gonna cut all four of you. And none of you are gonna drop any health for me, and this one didn't even break. Oh, that one did, sure. Did they only drop health when I headbutt them? No? Huh. That was weird. I mean, the one time I am looking specifically for health, and they aren't dropping it. Oh well. Crimson Helm was easy. Nine Tails was easier than I expected. Uh, what's next? The Bandit Spider, I believe? No, the Bandit Spiders are three kinds, and they appear in certain places. This one is uh, Spider Queen. That's right. I haven't seen the Spider Queen in a while. This is going to be an incredibly easy battle. Oh, hi there. Sado. It's you, Okami Amaterasu. I did wonder when the Ark began to move. Lo and behold, it's the guardian of our home, the Celestial Plane. Sup. Why did such tragedy befall us? This Ark was built by the Lunar Civilization as a rescue boat. It had been enshrined in the Celestial Plane for many years, which is probably why it crashed, because it was rusted and worn down and no longer worked. We really should keep this thing up to code. We believed it would be safe. In order to ensure our future existence, we fled to the Ark when the monster attacked us. How could we have known this Ark would become our coffin? I don't know. Maybe it was our destiny. Perhaps it was all decided from the start. Oh, more story. In flashback. That is an awesome picture of Orochi. That is an awesome picture of Orochi. Wow. That monster Orochi who attacked the Celestial Plane had suddenly come flying across the Sea of Stars, and after destroying our people and our homeland, it went on to cause pain and suffering in this world. Perhaps... Perhaps it was all preordained by the Moon Tribe. Oh, so you're, you're separate. Okay. We wanted to call the Ark of Yamato something else instead, but apparently the name Titanic was, also, was already taken, and for some reason we weren't supposed to call it that. I don't know why, we never learned that much about your world while we were here. Also, the, the uh, ship Titanic will not be invented for a few thousand more years, so... You know, whatever. Anyway, off you go now to fight the Bandit Queen. How? You like my sound effects? They are perfect. Alright, Queenie. You're gonna be a lot easier than the Bandit Spider, I already know this. Whoa, uh, just need to get a good angle. Do, 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 do. And then... Yeah, you know what? This is actually one of the worst angles I've had. Okay, while you're doing... Yeah, this is actually legitimately one of the worst angles I've ever had. And then this one does that. And, uh, okay, apparently that's it. Hi there, eyeballs! You know what? Uh, let's do it like this. That almost did nothing. I mean, it did something, so maybe I should do it again. Although I'm, I have much less ink now, so maybe it wouldn't do anything. Oh, come on. Attack, attack the eyeballs. Wow. I am doing terribly, aren't I? There we go. And then if I can just maybe shred that. Oh, wait a second. Oh, too late, too late, too late. I just remembered I could use the Inferno while uh, I have the Solar Flare equipped. Oops! Okay, you do your thing. Pretend like you're hurting me. I, I honestly couldn't care less. And then... Uh, can I get a good angle on it? I can. Oh, come on. You were green there for, for a moment. Okay, one of you... Yes, right there. Thank you. Do your thing. And let me... Come on now. That will work. That will not work, apparently. Okay. Revive the plants, revive the plants. And then... Actually, this would be a perfect angle. Yes. There's one, and... Okay, it's less than perfect now, but still... And I used a different one that I wasn't wanting to. That's fine. There we go. And you're finished. Sorry, Bandit Spider Queen. Whatever you're supposed to be called. Oh, come on now. Uh, we'll, we'll just do a cut. And we'll do another cut. Yay! And then we'll, we'll just do an Inferno. Because it's easy that way. Oh, come on! There we go. Now you're finished. Go ahead and die. Go ahead and die. Go ahead and die. Yes, yes, yes. Turn into the giant flower rosebud, whatever that you are. Or just vanish into nothingness. That works too. Ta-da and a half. Oh, perfect. I wasn't expecting to get perfect. I won't complain. You know what I never tried during that battle, and I very suddenly regret? Two uh, Spider Queen boss fights, and three 
uh, bandit spider fights, and hold on. Now coming out to I sense the presence of someone here on the Ark. Could it be that man from the Moon Tribe? Oh, that's what he is. I figured he was one of the celestial beings, but if he's Moon Tribe, okay, sure. I guess. I can feel his pain somewhere deep down inside this Ark. What pain? Amaterasu, you must save him without a moment's delay. You must stop the seeds of tragedy from being sown. In order for the evil in this world to be exorcised, the sun god Amaterasu must return to the celestial plane. I pray that you will watch over the world from the heavens, and that you will bestow peace upon us all until the sequel. Available only on the DS. As I was saying, I noticed that uh, throughout all those five battles where I had the chance, it never even occurred to me to try this. I could use the vines from the uh, blossoms to attach to myself to get behind the spider and then I would have the perfect angle to attack from. I don't need to run around them. I can just vine over to them from the back. That makes perfect sense! Why did I never consider that? Yeah, I was afraid of that. Oh, and it's true, Orochi! Great! Well, we've already got the Saki all set up. Roar. Okay, you'll, you'll do. And in you go. It's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not be too hasty here. And then get you drunk as well. And then blue in this sucker. There we go. Okay, so that's two of you. Yeah, can't touch me. Not with fire. Go ahead and run. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, get down here so I can kill you. I have the solar flare! Oh, you're supposed to get them all drunk and then we do it all over again. Right! Now I remember. Do your thing. I shut you down. And... I get you drunk from over here. <laughs> and move on to the next one. Alright, sure. Tornadoes. And then you roar. I'm trying to activate this guy I'm right next to here. Didn't go over so well for me. Oh, not going over well for you at all, is it? He roars. Gets drunk. And I move back to this one. Yeah, yeah, you're still alive. Yes, yes, tornado. Uh, Anti-tornado. <laughs> that was easy. And come on down. There we go. Oh. I mean, we can do it that way, too. Up on the back. Gonna attack that bell. Oh, come on now. Perfect, perfect-ish. Oh, there we go. Now I can attack it, sure. And I like that I'm able to hit it with the last part of my combo as well. Perfect! <laughs> Easiest Orochi fight ever. In fact, it probably could have been easier if I had considered to use slow time. Oh, well, yeah, now we do have to do it again. Alright, sure. Actually, come back down here and do that again. No, you're gonna roar, aren't you? Okay, sure. I should consider jumping in and hitting them whenever they come back down. I remember doing that during the second time I fought him. I was actually able to pull it off. But yeah, I should consider doing that again. Come on now, come on now, come on now. There we go. Alright, you. Uh, did, did not even. Okay. Yes, you're very scary. Here you go. Uh, what is it Susano and Nagi said? Good will triumph over evil and something like that? How many words is that? Good will triumph over evil. That's only five. There were three more. Yeah, whatever. I'm winning. I don't care. Lark. Oh, come on. You didn't even do anything to attack me. Are you okay? I mean, I don't mind. I'm pretty sure I remember that the poison guy was one of the most annoying that there was, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Just, uh... Chomp. I attack you. Great. And then you do... <laughs> Are you okay? He's throwing a fit. No! Why did you have to come down here and hurt me like that? That's not fair! And now you're shooting ray beams at me. Okay. Orochi is not a creature of light, and yet his light attack seems to be the most deadly, or at least the one that ever caught me off guard. 
Go ahead and finish him off. You know, Orochi fights are a whole lot faster when you don't have a whole bunch of cutscenes in between the phases. Actually, I wonder. I wonder. Hold on. Will that do anything to you? Apparently not. But maybe it could after I get him down. You're supposed to make very precise angles when you do that. So, let's try that. Let's try it. Do 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 do. Yeah, I don't think it did anything. Great! Now, at least it didn't mess up my whole uh, time there. Rar, you're scary. Go away. Are you going to throw a fit now? <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, why'd you have to hurt me? Oh, that was so mean. I'm supposed to be the one that kills you. Get out of here. Maybe I should just go ahead and let him attack. It gets to this roar segment a lot faster, and then I can take him out a lot faster, and... Yeah. Alright, come on down. You're the next loser on the... Nerochi is lost. I don't even know. Your turn, sir. Now, what is that supposed to be? It kind of looks... Because of the green... Darn it. Because of the green, it makes me think it's, like, a leaf or part of nature or something, but then it also kind of looks like... Uh, a blade of some kind? I don't know. Well, you took too long, so I'm going to have to come over here and beat up your other head instead. And from that point, I'm sure I won't have enough time to take them both out like this, but the opportunity is there, and he was giving it to me, and, you know, I just couldn't say no. You don't turn down a gift that quickly. You don't look at gifting a roach in the mouth. Don't put his fire on you. <laughs> is that it? Yes. He done. And I think I'm actually going to include this one, just because we've never been able to see the inside crater before. <laughs> I kind of don't want to go down there and explore it, though. Okay, we're out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a little surprised that I never put together before the fact that uh, all these little symbols were supposed to correspond to the various bosses in the game. I'm suspecting that someone in the comments would have told me if it wasn't going to be for this part right here, but yeah, I really should have seen it coming, and I didn't, and whoops. <laughs> I was just like, oh, hey, Aztec symbols, great, who cares? Alright, there's going to be one more over here, isn't there? Yes. I've been waiting for you, Okamiyama Tarasu. My fleeting spirit will disappear at any moment. I'm glad I was able to hold down long enough to meet with you, even though you came to me last. <laughs> Azumi. I like that name. Long, long ago, you and Orochi fell together to this world. Then you waited for the Chosen One to put an end to Orochi's life. You waited patiently for countless moon- He was the Chosen One? Okay, sure, whatever. You waited patiently for countless moons until finally the Chosen One, Nagi, was born. Together you sent the Monster of the Moon to its fate. Twice. You didn't realize it, but that was just one ripple in the wave of darkness. Well, now I know. Man, Orochi's been around for a long time. It's exactly 100 years since the legend of Nagi. The monster was quietly recovering its strength for all those years. Until it used Nagi's descendant, Susano, to complete its revival. And once again, it tried to destroy this world. Then you screwed things up for it by beating it to a pulp. When you defeated it, the next stage of its plan began. It cursed the land with its evil power. And the world was soon overrun with monsters from the Ark. This is a cool cutscene right here. Orochi's evil essence was more than enough to power them all. The smoldering powers of darkness exploded throughout Nippon. And the world was thrown into a storm of chaos never seen before. After that, well, you saw with your own eyes. The evil powers that, let those, that left those monsters you defeated have all gathered here in the Ark of Yamato, except for Leku and Neku, who are not, or whatever you're supposed to call them, they don't seem to be in this little area right here. Am I supposed to fight them on my own <laughs> later? That's a scary thought. Exorcism of the roots of evil is a daunting task. You must keep your eyes open for what's in the center of it all. So, hmm. You know, that's kind of interesting. We're going to be fighting Blight, but we never had to fight the owls. Am I going to be fighting the owls later? Are they going to be like the last ones? Or do I take them out just close enough to the ending that we don't have to worry about it? 
Did they have power that went to the Ark? I'm pretty sure they did. Because we defeated, um... I think that it was, uh, four... Uh... I know what I'm trying to say, give me a moment here. Four blasts of darkness, whatever, flew out of Orochi's body, and came out here to the Ark, and then we had Nine Tails and the other stuff. I don't know. I know what I'm trying to say, I'm just not able to get it out correctly, but I'm pretty sure that the Owls were two, not one. Alright, you. Come here. Yes, yes, yes. You do your thing, I slow time, and suddenly I can see where you are and beat the crap out of you for it. Oh, come here! Oh, come on now. Come on! Yes, 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 very scary. <laughs> you look kind of like Dry Bones there from uh, the Mario games. Oh, right, you're the sword. Uh, let's go ahead and slow time just so I can beat you up as much as possible. As wolfily possible. Can't say humanly possible. That was extremely fast. Probably would have been just as fast if I had remembered to use the whole slow time mist power whatever the first time I fought him too. Alright, I think that with that we're probably going to call it the end of the episode when we get back in here. I know that the in the center is probably going to glow, and the celestial in front of me has something to say. Okami Amaterasu, it has begun at long last. The waves of darkness have finally begun to roll. All this evil power I cannot hold on much longer. There is one final thing I must tell you. The man of the moon tribe with the golden hair. I want you to tell him something. The Celestials will never forget how he fought alongside you when Orochi attacked. We are forever grateful. Did he? Did he? Uh... I have no idea. Anyway, you're done. Goodbye. Do your little sexy twist, and you're gone. And the only one left at this point is the Merchant. Maybe that's supposed to be the Owls, that little thing in the center. We'll be going in there next episode. Thanks for joining me for today's, everybody. Kind of a gauntlet boss fight of sorts. I kind of like it. It did take a long time to get through, but yeah, it was kind of fun. And it was nice to see how much more powerful I am now, too. Anyway, come on back next time, everybody. We'll head up this thing and uh, either fight a couple of owls or the final boss, in which case it will be an incredibly long episode. Hard to believe that this game has taken 80 episodes to get through. Anyway, I'm just starting at this point. See you then, everyone. Take care. Behold, it is shrouded in darkness, but make no mistake, this is none other than Yami, the evil ruler of darkness.